Hey everyone, last time I posted about harvesting our sunflowers, a lot of you asked about our drying house and how we were drying things. Um, this isn't exactly a drying house. Um, funny story, when we first moved here three years ago, um, the people that used to live here actually left this random little building on the property. And since then, we've been trying to figure out what to do with it. Um, but in the meantime, I'm, a I'm using it as my own little dry house. It's a really cute building and I definitely want to renovate it into something much more substantial and maybe even a workshop. But when the energy, time, and finances allow, we will get to that point. Inside is actually the bare bones of a really good structure. A little creepy looking, but a great place to dry some things. So I'm actually just, I put a line up, a few lines up, and I just hang whatever I want to dry in here. So here we have our sunflowers. I was sure to hang them low to the ground in case any of the seeds fell. I put this white cardboard underneath to be able to spot them. A few more here. And this is also where I'm hanging our glass gem corn to dry. We got quite a bit of it and such beautiful colors. Such an awesome variety. I'm actually thinking it might be a cute idea to sell some of these bundles. If any of you are interested, please let me know. I would love to, to send you some glass gem corn either as ornaments or you guys could even collect the seed and plant them yourself. So exciting. And I also hang dry some herbs. Um, with the herbs, um, I might actually try growing them inside. I do have some rosemary hang drying inside where it's a little cooler. Um, it is quite hot in here. The, the room isn't insulated. And I feel like to dry herbs, it would probably be best to do it in a cool, dry place rather than having it be somewhere so hot. Um, here we have our some artemisia from the garden. It's really aromatic. It has such beautiful therapeutic aromatic properties. Um, I'm thinking of making some smudge sticks out of them or even drying them to use in a few special projects I'm working on, but time will tell. I really love them, so excited to have them drying. Over here we have some more marigolds. I decided to try to dry some mint. Um, turned out a little funny looking. <laughs> and some Russian sage as well. This is looking beautiful. But again, I really, eventually, when it comes to renovating it, I would love to get this insulated and like a fan or something to cool in here. Because again, for the herbs, I think it'd be a lot better for them to um, dry in a cool, dark place rather than somewhere that's warm. And Air still gets in, so it can get a little humid in here too, so that moisture might do something with the drying process. And I'm not sure if it will affect them, but the Russian sage seems fine. But I, this is also something that smells really lovely. And yeah, just wanted to give you a brief little tour on our makeshift dry house and the happenings here at the ranch. Let me know if you guys have any more questions. I'm happy to answer them. Or if you have any drawing tips, please let us know. I'm always excited to learn more. Take care, guys.